People used to say the spirit told me. I don't hear that no more. No, I was led by the spirit. People talked about there's a land beyond the river that we call the street forever. I told the people Sunday night, I said, you got to do something to get there. You don't get there, just live in town. You got to go there. You got to love your neighbors and do unto them that you want them to do unto you. But they say I'm old time. But the old songs are give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. Amen. <laughs> oh, give me that old time religion. Give me that Doing old time the old dispensation, the people had to go so far to go to church. They would walk, take up the shoe and walk. Then I guess God put me in one of the members or the people to say, well, let us build a prayer house to shorten our trip. On St. Helena Island, Deacon James Scarfield Smalls has a mission. He has dedicated his life to preserving the tradition of the praise house. I had dreams, and God had shows me, sent me in the spirit uh, what to do and how to do, because it was dealing with God, with the spirit, with the Holy Spirit. They deals with the Holy Spirit. Many times you would hear them say, the spirit told me to do thus and thus and that. That's in the dream at night, in the sleep. When they're sleeping, they are not in this world. They're in yonder's world, but the frame is in this world. The Spirit of God worked with them. When I had to be 13, I went out in the wilderness and I prayed until I got converted and I was baptized. And I came back, I got my right hand fellowship in the prayer house. That means that you are a member of the congregation. Another who works to preserve this heritage is Mrs. Irene Shipman. There's about 12 of us here now, and we keep going because the older people, they were so into this until we don't want to give up. We want to keep it going. This praise house was recently restored. The original benches, which date back to 1865, were left intact. I hope after the older one is gone, the younger one will come up and take, take heed or try to keep it going. My cousin said to me, say, well, when me and you die, there ain't gonna be no one. I said, well, it's up to them. But as long as we can do, we do. Lord, in the morning thou shalt hear my I think faith and religion and religious traditions are probably the most vivid legacies, if you might say that, of color life. Our religion, you know, is one that we believe that God will make things better. And so when things not going well during the week, uh, we look forward to Sunday because we think that's where we can actually explain to God how much faith we have in Him. And He'll make it better the next week. When I was growing up, um, Sunday school in church was pretty much a must. And people at that time had a very, I guess somewhat, a sacred thing about uh, Sunday. So people didn't cook on Sunday. They cooked, you know, the night before. While praise houses are struggling to survive on St. Helena, there are no active praise houses still in existence on Hilton Head, Dofusky, or the other South Carolina Sea Islands. Yet, their influence remains. If you had to identify the Gullah religious tradition on this island, you would look for a praise house, which no longer exists on this island. But there were little praise houses in every neighborhood. It was the moral compass for the community. Uh, praise houses were uh, like today's courthouses. <laughs> yeah, they were the, the legislators and the, the judge and jury.
So those leaders uh, were like, oh, you might say constables who would bring you into the praise house and get, uh, and you would then get tried, so to speak, as to whether or not you were right or wrong in the treatment of your neighbor. Now the punishment was usually not, ex not excommunication from the praise house, but uh, put in a different seating arrangement. You'd be to the back of this praise house. You'd get sit seated on the back seat, and, uh, but the praise house would be the one to bring you back in line. And mainly that's because everybody wanted to be a part of, of praise house services. Yeah.